Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Wednesday, 20th of the, uh, May 2021. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar. Plenty of data had been um, issued from the from the Great Britain. Uh, we got the GDP better than expected, 2.1 percent. We have the industry production uh, better than expected, 1.8 percent. Manufacturing production better than expected, 2.1 percent again. And even the visible trade balance is narrowing uh, to 11.7 uh, um, billion pounds. Uh, construction output better than expected. Only index of services were mm, uh, worse than expectations, minus 2.0 percent uh, versus minus 1.7 percent. Overall, GDP is uh, increasing from mm, uh, uh, minus uh, the, the minus 1.6 percent to uh, minus 1.5. Uh, percent so it's not uh, it's not that bad at all so we will definitely take a look on the uh, british uh, pound today uh cpi and harmonized cpi from germany were all in line with the expectations and uh during the uh, london session we have one more important data which is uh european commission economic forecast scheduled for release at 10 o'clock during the New York session, we have uh, important data uh, scheduled for release. Half past one, there is a consumer price index. The forecast is 0.2% uh, versus the previous reading of 0.6%. Uh, and of course, we have a core consumer price index, 0.3% on month-to-month -month, uh, basis. And then uh, half past three, we have crude oil inventories. We got two speeches here. Um, the first one is scheduled at two o'clock. Uh, Richard Caldera will deliver a speech, FOMC a member, and then at three o'clock, uh, Bank of England Deputy Governor Andrew Boyley uh, will give a speech as well. So let's take a look at the British pound because there's plenty of of, of uh, data released uh, from uh, from the UK. So right now, uh, as you can see, we have a breakout uh, even higher. So this uh, this uptrend. Uh, from the last year, um, September, the end of the September is being continued. Let me just um, put my uh, uh, my channel back on, and you can see the price is back on the channel. But now we are going to adjust the the channel to the current data, and we are going to expand this channel from here to here. And now we have a really, really big, big uh, channel. We um, expect the market to test one point. 40 to 41 which is the high from the uh, from the end of the february uh, this year let's just zoom in to see what is going on uh, here as you can see we have a breakout so right now this level will be a technical support and this level is 1.4017 and now the next target for the british pound is seen at the level of 1.14 uh, uh, 40 uh, 1.4241 40, the market conditions are all um, um, slightly overbought already the rsi is uh, around the level of uh, 67 which is very close to the 70 uh, but so far we have only three waves up here and uh, this might be some sort of the consolidation here so we have a like a temporary uh, short-term technical resistance here 1.4168 and then if we when we break it we should go a little bit higher towards towards the uh, the level of 1.42 uh, 41 the next target if this level is violated is located here uh, between 1.4344 1.4377 this is the next technical resistance for the british pound the uptrend has been resumed the uptrend is right now uh, getting momentum getting steam which means the british pound will go higher should go higher in the next few days the japanese uh, the british pound to the japanese yen as we can see we got this 2.8 percent uh corrective decline right now it's a history bounce from the from the uh, from the trend line here and we now have a breakout breakout above 153.76 so we have a new a new local high made at the level of 1. Uh, 1.154 and as we can see, we are back into this acceleration uh, acceleration channel. So what we can do right now, we can expand this channel, but a little bit 
like that so that's nothing new for us uh, the main channel is here the blue channel is the acceleration channel and it looks like the market is uh, still uh, under the influence under the control of uh, bulls uh, despite the quite strong reading from the rsi nevertheless uh, we should uh, we should continue the uh, the up move and uh, let me just put some targets uh, for you the next uh, the technical target is 156.60 uh, but the the fibonacci projection uh, of the 100 uh let's say the 100 is 154.19 this is the uh 100 projection so basically we are missing 19 pips to hit this this target then then there might be some kind of a, a consolidation if this is the impulsive wave we should easily get to this level 156.28 without any any problems so the outlook for the british pound to the japanese yen is still bullish the uptrend has uh, has resumed and of course what do we have here we have a move down on the euro versus the uh, uh, british pound towards 61 percent which is at 8567 uh, pips so right now this is of course our key technical um, uh, resistance level it has not been uh, uh violated despite the efforts from the bulls right now we are below the lows of the uh, 19th of the april new low had been made at uh 8579 we are heading a little bit lower to our 61 percent if this level is violated then of course uh, the next target for for bears is uh is this low the low from the 5th of the april 2021 at the level of uh, to be precise 8471 so that's that was our our corrective uh corrective bounce this is it there you go so uh it looks bearish so uh, people are the traders are selling the euro and buying the british pound all over the board and it looks like we are going to have some sort of a uh rally on on a, on a british pound basically because of the recent uh fueled by the recent uh, data from the uh from the united uh, kingdom i think those are the most important uh british pair uh, available uh, on the uh, on the uh, instaforex uh, broker so let me just finish this analysis with the uh, euro to the uh, uh, swiss franc because of the incoming um us data as you can see very nice behavior towards 61 percent the 61 percent had been violated and the new low was made at 8998 to be precise 8985 now we have a bounce but this bound bounce is not that that strong anymore we can move our trend line to the newest data to, which is the high of the 5th of the may and still we are trading below this uh this key technical resistance and we are now testing the key technical support as you can see um we already of course made a new local low but there is like a reaction to the to the upside and now the key um another key um, level would be of course uh, let me just copy one of the levels it would be this level this short term short term level here at the lows of um of um uh, the end of the April 29th, which is uh, the level of 9,079. 9,079 is the is the key short-term technical uh, technical resistance. Let's move our arrow here. As long as we trade below this level, the odds for another leg down towards 8,919 are very very high. 61% had been violated. The demand zone had been violated. If there is no response from the from the bulls, if there is no V-shaped reversal and break uh, through this um, breakout through this um, short-term trend line, then we are going even lower. That means U.S. dollar is being sold and the uh, Swiss franc is being uh, bought back up. So that's everything for me for today. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I see you guys tomorrow. Take care and bye.